In this picture, I want to show you how somebody had taken uh, the neutral wire and used it as a switch leg and used the ground wire, existing ground wire, as a neutral. This, as you can see, is a uh, fan control box. So you've got the power coming in and you got a uh, fan and a light. That's the type of dimmer. That's a particular type of dimmer that they used on this so that they could split up the bath bar light and the recess can and have two separate switch legs in there without running new wires through the attic or the roof. As you can see here, I took a picture once I disconnected everything and figured out what the hell was going on. Uh, there's the ground wire. They'd actually gone as far as taking the insulation off the neutral and sliding it over the ground wire so at first glance it appears to be neutral wire. Well, they went ahead and taped this black. That is the neutral. This is a close up in a second. And here's another. The black wires taped red. Um, I don't know if you're going to go this far and be stupid. Why didn't they tape that one red and just leave that one black? Well, I mean, stupidity. I, that, uh, it's beyond me. I don't know. So, anyway, here's a close up of it. So here's the white wire taped black, the black wire taped red, and the insulation slid over the ground wire. Now up in the recess scanned, they had taken the ground wire and tied it into the neutrals. So let me go back, sorry. Okay, at the makeup of this, that neutral's tied into the neutrals in here, okay? So, therefore, the ground wire is now a neutral, and there is no ground up at the can. Okay, so, one of these wires here, whichever one is the one that goes back to the switch box, makes the rest of this a neutral now. That's, that's your path back, your turn path, okay? Now you have your red wire coming in here, and it appears as that it goes to the the recess can there and then they took the white wire that's taped black and it goes on and feeds over to the bath bar light so you've got your power coming in and then you've got a bath bar coming out and then you've got another one that goes and feeds another recess can so they've got this all split up using the ground as a neutral at this point in order for the bath bar light work to work and the other recess can to work. Remember this is all tied back in at the switch the ground wire is to appear as a neutral. It will work and it did work and the dimmers worked but we all know that the ground wire cannot be used as the return path in the sense of uh, a hot and a neutral why people do this is beyond me. This is not the way to do it. Okay, I'm only showing you the stuff that I find and uh, I think that in part of my continued education here is to show you that when you get into this stuff um, you'd be surprised at what you can find and you gotta be aware of how and why things work. So you gotta have your hot for a lamp, you gotta have your neutral for a lamp, and you gotta have your ground for your bonding protection. Okay? So within this we've lost our bond. We do have the hot and we do have the neutral. This recess can here did work and the bath bar light did work and it worked off the dimmer. But if anybody were to get back into these ground wires somewhere, uh, especially back at the, the switch box or whatever, and the lights were turned on, they could get a serious shock back on the return path of the neutral. So here's just another example of what not to do, but I figure it's important enough to show you the stuff that I run into on a daily basis.